All right, so the next video in our series on MySQL is about the keyword between, when you want to find a range of values with dates or numbers. So if you've been following along with the series, you've already got all the tables and everything that you need. Uh, if not, I will post the link to this SQL file so you can download it and import all the tables and data so you'll have the same thing that I'm working with. Just download the zip, expand the zip, and then inside of your uh, database, go to the insert tab and import, or rather not the insert, but the import tab and uh, choose the file, the SQL file that you've downloaded and import that. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a basic query where I'm going to select all the columns from my table movies. This is inside my database movies. That's the one that we just imported where the year is greater than or equal to 82 less than or equal to 1994. So it's anywhere inside this range, but it's going to include 1982 and 1984 as possible values. That's what the equal sign is going to afford us. And I'm going to order them. So it's going to be sorted by the year. So let's come down and take a look at that. Here's the results that we're going to get back from this query. And you can see that there's three from 82, a couple from 86, 92 and 94. So we've got seven records and everything here falls within that range. If I were to remove the where clause here and just run that, then we're getting all of the data across all these years. So there are movies that are outside of that range. When we add this range, it just filters it. Okay, simple enough. Now, this can be a bit of a pain when you have to write two lines. There's two filters that you're applying here. If you want to do this a little bit more efficiently, that's where the keyword between comes in. So we can say where your column, so I'm using the column year, is between, and then we provide the two different values. So I can say 1982 and 1994. This is going to do the exact same thing as the previous query. So we run that. Again, seven total records. It's the exact same record set that we had before. It's just a lot easier to do this. So you can use this with numbers. You can use it with dates. Uh, it doesn't work with strings naturally, but we can do it. Just let's do a movie ID one. So a movie ID between, let's say five and 15. So that should give us inclusively numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we'll run that. Okay, and we've got it sorted by year, so it's a little hard to tell, but um, we do have, there's the number 5, there's the number 15, and we've got all the numbers in between. Just to confirm that, we'll run it sorted by the movie ID. And there we go, we got the same 11 records. 15 being the last and five being the first. All right, and that's between, that's all there is to it. It's just a great way to filter with numbers and dates. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below. I will leave a link in the description to the SQL file so you can download it, as well as to the rest of the MySQL playlist. As always, thanks for watching.